Hello, hello, Alex aqui. Então, antes de começar esse episódio, eu quero dar algumas atualizações sobre o inglês de Necru. Em 2020, nós vamos ter 12 challenges diferentes, ou seja, é um novo produto completamente diferente para vocês. A cada mês, a gente vai ter um challenge diferente um do outro, claro. Então, por exemplo, nós teremos challenges sobre como melhorar o seu vocabulário, como fazer good first impressions, como ter o inglês melhor e mais natural possível durante conversas com nativos de inglês. Eu estou muito animada e quero muito, muito, muito que você participe. Então, se você gosta de nós, se você gosta do nosso trabalho, se você gosta aqui do Inglês de Micro Rádio e quer ficar de uma vez por todas sério com o seu inglês, começando agora em 2020, vá lá no nosso site, inglêsdenicru.com. Now, on with the show! Oi, pessoal! Bem-vindos a mais um episódio aqui do Inglês de Necru Rádio. E nós temos uma surpresa para comemorar o 4th of July e os tutores americanos do Cambly. O Cambly está fazendo uma super promoção nos planos anuais dele. Ou seja, você pode conseguir uma aula grátis mais 40% de desconto em qualquer plano anual com o cupom que a gente vai te falar agora, que é inglês Ford 4TH of July. Eu vou deixar tudo escrito direitinho nas nossas show notes para vocês não terem problema com código ou vocês podem acessar direto no link que a gente vai colocar lá. Então é muito, muito bacana e, enfim, eu acho que vocês podem aproveitar porque, gente, 40% de desconto num plano anual, meu Deus do céu, junto com uma aula grátis, não dá para perder. Então é do dia 1 de julho até o dia 8 de julho que está valendo essa promoção. Então não perca essa oportunidade, tá bom? Now, on with the show! Hello, hello, hey, sweet people, and welcome to another episode of English no Cru Rádio. Hey, Alexia. Hey, Foster. How are you doing today? I'm okay, I'm okay. What about you? I am hanging in there. <laughs> I can't complain. I can't complain, but I'm not going to complain. We can't complain about a lot of things, but we are um, walking on the sunny side of the street. As your dad always says. Yes. But I don't think many native English speakers actually say that. It's a Anyways. song. So if you, can, if you want to Google it, sunny side of the street song, go ahead, listen to it. And you'll be happy instant, 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 instantaneamente, instantaneously, instantaneously, instantaneously. There we go. Remember when you have a really big, long, complicated word, just take it slow. Think about the root of the word. So in this case, instant, 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 instantane, instantaneously, instantaneously. Excellent. Okay. Great job. I'm excited about today's episode. I am very excited. So let me set the scene. This is a series of episodes that we've wanted to do for a long time now. And we're going to talk about America, <laughs> the United States. And that's, I was about to correct you. <laughs> <laughs> the United States of America. More specifically, we're going to talk about individual states, a lot of different states that, to be honest, I don't know that much about. So I'm going to be learning the same time as you. But I thought this would be a cool way to help our listeners understand more about the United States, talk about some interesting states, some places that people could potentially visit one day. And I think we'll just have fun with me quizzing you about geography and stuff like that oh no not <laughs> quizzing about geography don't make me blush when no one can see me blush but that's fine <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay so to be honest this series is eh, to be completely honest i'm not super happy with the state of my country right now and it's really easy to get disappointed and say uh I don't like it. 
here in America and what's happening. But there's also the alternative of thinking about the good things yes, and exploring new ideas and places and cultures. Yes. So that's what we're going to try to do today. Okay, so let's start. What do you have for me today? The first one ever. Okay, so each episode we're going to do a different state. And the first state is... Do you want to take a guess? Um, Oregon? It's not Oregon. Okay. I'll give you a hint. I kind of was going alphabetically. Alabama? Close. Close. Alaska. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I, I really want to visit Alaska one day. Okay, Alexia is already excited. So first, tell me, Alexia, do you know anything about Alaska? Very cold, beautiful nature, a lot of huskies, and a lot of fishing trips, I think, and boats. <laughs> I don't know why, but I know that. And um, apparently people there are very nice. Okay. I think all of those things are true. Absolutely. A lot of boats, a lot of beautiful scenery, a lot of fish. One interesting fact I was reading, the biggest salmon ever caught in history was in Alaska. And a salmon, Selmo was a hundred pounds. So that's like, that's like you. <laughs> Thank you. I think. I don't know. <laughs> so Alexia was caught in the middle of the sea as a salmon. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's interesting because again, with TikTok, I get to visit a lot of places that I've never imagined. And there is a lady who lives in Alaska, and she has six dogs, and three of them are huskies. Mm -hmm. And while all the other dogs, which are mutts, they are inside the house freezing, freezing. All the huskies are outside having a lot of fun with that horrible snow and, like, sleeping outside and, like, having their... Natural habitat. 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 There we go. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I love huskies. So, Alexia, next question. Do you know the names of any cities in Alaska? And to be honest, I think a lot of Americans do not know any, so don't feel bad. No. Uh, no. To be completely honest, no. Okay. Well, the capital of Alaska is Juno. Juno. Just like the movie. Almost like the movie. It's actually spelled J U N E A U. Like Ah, uh, just Bordeaux. like French. Juno. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think the most interesting thing about Alaska is it is either the newest state or the second newest. I'm not sure if Alaska or Hawaii came first, but we have the 48 continental United States, contiguous United States. That means they are in the same piece of land. And then we have these two other states, Alaska and Hawaii, that are not part of the same piece of land, but they're still part of the United States. Kind of crazy, right? Yeah, I'm opening the map right now. So. <laughs> no, no, no. No maps. <laughs> Why? No because I'm teaching you. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I really... I, okay. Thank you. So, let me ask you another question, Alexia. When do you think Alaska officially became a state? And again, I asked my dad this last night, and he was totally wrong so don't <laughs> what feel did bad. he say what did he say i'm not gonna tell you oh um, okay 1980s only in the 1980s yeah, a lot of can happen only in the 1980s okay well, that's a pretty good guess alaska became a officially became a state in 1959 okay that's that's now i mean it's very very new 
And before yeah. that, it was what? I don't know. <laughs> a piece of land only? <laughs> um, no, it was actually part of the USSR, if I'm not mistaken. It was a part of Russia. Okay. And I don't know that much about the acquisition of Alaska. I imagine it has to do with oil and gas. I did not do that deep of research, to be honest. That's interesting. Yeah. Imagine 19? when my dad was born. Alaska was not part of the United States. Not even my dad. Not your my dad, dad was already a teenager. Yeah. See that? I'm talking good things about you here. Okay, so let me ask you a really difficult question. Yeah, Matthias. And this is not specifically related to Alaska. What do you think is the biggest state in the U.S. in terms of geography? So the biggest, talking about land. Talking about land. Yeah. Is it a continental state? Just give me your best guess. Think about a big state. What do you think is the biggest state? Should Texas. be pretty obvious. Texas. Did I get it right? No. That's uh. what everyone thinks. <laughs> the biggest state in the U.S. is Alaska. Ah, uh, more. Poor. Tricky. That was a trick question. Uh. But Alaska is huge it is way bigger than texas alaska alaska <laughs> is the size of one fifth of the contiguous united states so, seriously yeah that's it's, crazy it's enormous that's crazy but yes uh. although alaska is the biggest state in the u.s in terms of geography it is the 48th biggest in terms of population. So it's the third smallest state. Well, I mean, I like that because a lot of nature is being um, conserved. Yeah. Yeah. There are yeah. only 700,000 people in Alaska. 700, so to put that in perspective. It's like two portes, mm, more or less. Smaller than metropolitan Porto. It's like two Spartanburgs. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I like yeah. that. It can be very lonely during winter, I imagine, which is most all the year. But... Yeah. I like so it. So just two more fun facts about Alaska. First, I would recommend looking at pictures of Juneau, the capital. It's super beautiful. I really want to visit there. And Juneau is... The only capital in the U.S. that does not have road transportation. So the only way you can get to Juneau is by a boat or a plane. Pretty crazy, right? Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. Imagine, imagine. like you get, you get stuck in Juneau during a winter um, eh, tempestade. I even lost Storm. words right now because, I mean... How can you get away from it? Only by boat, because apparently airplanes will be closed as well. So, by boat during freezing weather, no way. Do not okay. like it. So, like she says no to Juno. So, another fact about Alaska that probably will give you a little bit of hesitation. For every 20 people in Alaska, there is one bear. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, to be honest, I think that I prefer bears than alligators in South Carolina. <laughs> yeah, but there are a lot of bears in Alaska. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think that I would spend like maybe three months to six months in Alaska just to get to know the place, but I would never have a life there. Yeah, I'm really interested in visiting Alaska one day. Have it's you ever, a hard trip. Yeah. Have you ever known anyone who went to Alaska to visit? Do I know anyone that's visited Alaska? Yeah. 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 I have a handful of friends that have been there. Hmm. Um, everybody loves it. Most people go for the nature, the fishing, the hiking. But it's a beautiful, beautiful place. It's just really far away from where I am. It's not the easiest state to get to, 
but it looks beautiful. And there are a lot of bears. So keep that in mind. <laughs> Baby bears. Okay. So okay, that is our I love first it. United States state session thing, <laughs> Alaska. Check okay. it out. Read some more information about it. And we will talk to you tomorrow. Okie dokie. Bye. Muito obrigada por ter escutado mais um episódio aqui do nosso Inglês de Micro Rádio. Vocês sabem que nós fazemos o possível e o impossível para deixar o inglês mais pertinho de vocês, né? E é um prazer imenso que a gente possa estar acompanhando vocês no dia a dia, na rotina e fazer parte da hora do, da cozinha, de faxina, tomar banho, dirigir, o que for. Então, eu queria aqui deixar bem claro que se você entrar lá no nosso site inglesdenicru.com você vai poder ver um pouco mais do que a gente oferece de produtos além aqui do nosso podcast querido que a gente ama de paixão então vão lá, vão no nosso site né? aquela força pra gente procurem saber mais o que a gente está fazendo e é aquilo né galera cada mês nós temos um challenge novo então eu acho que é hora de aproveitar então é isso. Um beijo grande e a gente se vê no próximo episódio. Bye!